Do you know that there are eight main accounts that you might be handling as a call center agent if you work in the BPO industry? If you would like to enrich your knowledge and know what are those eight accounts that you might be handling, then just keep on watching. Number one is retail account. If you're an avid follower of this channel, you know that I handled this account before. Retail account involves providing BPO services to retail companies such as Amazon, Walmart, Target, Macy's, among others, which can include customer support, order processing, inventory management, technical support, and more. I already created a video about this a year ago, but I'll create an updated version of this, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Next on the list is telecommunications account. A lot of call center agents would say that this is the hardest account of all accounts out there. And yes, I worked for this account before as well. BPO providers such as VXI offer services to telecommunications companies such as AT&T, Comcast, Verizon, among others. Services can range from customer support for mobile, telephone, cable, home security service, and internet service to technical support, retention, sales, and billing assistance. I'll create a detailed video about this, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Next is healthcare account. In this account, BPO services for healthcare typically include medical billing, medical transcription, appointment scheduling, insurance claims, processing, and handling patient increase. I'll create a more comprehensive and detailed video about this, so make sure to stay tuned for that, especially if your account is going to be a healthcare account. Number four is financial or banking account. BPO companies assist financial institutions such as JP Morgan with various tasks such as customer service, loan processing, fraud detection, credit and support, and back office operations. I'll also create a separate video in regards to a comprehensive and detailed guide about this, so make sure to stay tuned. Number 5 is Transportation Account. BPO services for the transportation sector might include reservations and booking support for airlines, railways, or ground transportation companies, as well as logistics and supply chain management. Same thing, I'll dive deeper into this account on a separate video, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Number 6, Hotel Account. What's your account, by the way? Let me know in the comment section below. So, this account involves providing support for hotels and hospitality businesses such as reservation management, guest increase, and general customer service. Same thing, I'll create a separate and detailed video about this, so please stay tuned. Second to the last account is travel account. Is this your account? If yes, comment below so I know and I can give you a shout out as well. BPO services for the travel industry can cover tasks like booking flights, hotels, and vacation packages, as well as addressing travel-related inquiries from customers. Same thing, I'll create a deeper video discussion regarding this, so please stay tuned. And last but not the least, we have number 8, sales account. I already have a video about sales account, so I'll just put the link in the description below if you want. But of course, I'll create an updated version for this one as well. BPO providers may offer services related to sales and lead generation, which can include telemarketing, appointment setting, and sales support for various industries. And that's it. I hope that you've learned something from this video. If yes, then give this video a like. You can also drop a comment in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also share this video to other aspiring call center agents. And if you have video suggestions, feel free to let me know as well in the comment section. I'll be happy to reply to each of your comments. Until next time, bye!